Oh, I don't know now. Juicy. Welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Oh my god, you guys have been asking for this everywhere on Instagram, TikTok, here on YouTube. So I'm really excited. You guys know I love these type of products. What's so funny is that I went out and bought it from Boots and then on the same day I received it in PR. Like guys, I had to go refund the other one but at least I have, you know, three shades that I can swatch for you guys. I wanted to use Daylight but you can say somewhat this is daylight. My whole living room is filled with sunlight um, and it's so bright if I have the window behind me, in front of me. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Volusia de Mello. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. The shades I have are 12, 13 and 14. When I purchased it, I purchased uh, shade 13 because I'm really pale at the moment and on the back of the box it says it's light to medium coverage for all skin tones blends and blurs to instant perfection light as air and yeah so it's actually currently on offer um at boots even though it's like a brand new product that's why i love like shopping certain products from boots guys so definitely always try to check their website out first because they have really good deals um so this is 25 pounds which i think is a really reasonable price um you get 32 mil which is a bit more than your usual 30 mil foundation and it's currently on offer for 21 25 obviously that will go at some point but yeah if you're looking to get this definitely Definitely check boots okay this is shade 12 very very yellow i feel like i could get away with 12 actually you know but it's very yellow then we have 13 which is the shade i'm gonna use i feel like the tone of it is better than 12 12 is very golden like it will look a bit orangey on me whilst 12 is more like peachy and then we have 14 which i could wear actually it's definitely more neutral oh i don't know now do you know what? I think I'm going to go for 14. I didn't compare. When you compare the shades, this is why when I was working on Bobbi Brown, like this was the best way to swatch shades on people. Like just compare a few shades and then on the skin and you actually see which one kind of like goes better. I mean, it's slightly darker. I could go for 13 or 14, but I'm going to go for 14 today. Okay. But I'm glad that I can use a shade for winter and summer because I know for summer I can use 14. I'm just going to use some of my Fenty Skin Moisturizer. I have been liking this stuff, especially because it has SPF in it. I'm actually already wearing a layer of SPF. But you know, you can't do too much SPF. Down the neck. You can barely see it on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna just use my brush. I actually did try this yesterday, like just roughly, but I tried shade uh, 13. It was light in some areas. And when I swatched 14, I was like, oh, it's going to be too dark. But I just want to put out there that I prefer to match my face, my pale face to my darker body. Um, and you know what? Because this is a skin tint, it kind of works. You can get away with a slightly darker shade um but even with a lighter shade but you know like it's just my personal preference where i just prefer like a more golden warm foundation like when i look back at my kvd foundation review like it was definitely pale and i was not feeling it although it was more the formula the issue on my skin it, i just don't like that pale uh, skin look but can we just take a moment for this guys uh, I love how this looks on my skin. I love it. This makes my skin look so beautiful. If you look up close, like it's just like my skin just loves this. It's so plump, dewy. My, there's no dry patches. Um, it blends out beautifully and it has a good amount of coverage. I would definitely say light to medium because it's covered my scar a little bit, which I was quite shocked about. I thought this would be really, really light coverage. It says light to medium coverage on the box and that's like a perfect description for it. And I kind of like that it gives a bit of coverage still. The shade is perfect for me, guys. Like, honestly, I love this. I can't explain it. And I'm going to try and do more like really up close shots with my iPhone because it shoots in like 
4K and um, it just really, you can see the skin up close rather with them on my camera. It's so hard with my camera sometimes. Yeah, I just love this. So far, I love it. I've worn it all day yesterday. I'm gonna wear it all day today so you guys can see how this looks towards the end of the day. This is blended and applied so beautifully. My skin hasn't like reacted to it because I saw on TikTok someone reacted to it. I mean, everyone is different, I guess. Um, and I always try to say, guys, if I whether I like a product or not, it could be a totally different story to someone else or yourselves. So when you are planning to buy out a product, don't just depend solely on one review. Try and look at a lot of reviews out there with people who have a similar skin type to you, skin tone as well, it helps to find your shade. So yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right guys, I finished my makeup and honestly, everything applied so nicely on this oh god oh this is so my type of product like guys if you if you've been with me for a while you'll know that these are like my type of products the fact that the shade matches really really well it hasn't given me any dry spots it's got a bit of coverage it's just really dewy now i would say if you have oily skin um you might need to powder because even i was like oh my god this is a little bit dewy so like i powdered a bit here and there like mostly on my like my whole face but not all of it um but it's definitely more on the dewy side but i don't mind that i have really really dry skin guys and this has just sat beautifully on my skin so i'm honestly 10 out of 10 happy so far i'm really happy with it as well because i know how this wears throughout the day because i've worn it all day yesterday and it's just so skin like so like juicy like makes your makes your skin look juicy you know i just know i just know when something that just sits beautifully on my skin and guys this is like my this will probably be my go-to summer product it's like up there with my NARS tinted moisturizer but like maybe a little bit better I don't know so yeah I'm also really happy with the shade 14 is perfect I think winter would be 13 for sure um but 12 I could I could also wear 12 but it's very yellow I might give 12 to my sister um to try out I don't know if it will suit her but yeah very happy I'm very very happy okay Okay, it's now 7.31 a.m. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we'll see how this looks later on. All right, guys, it's now 5.07 p.m. Your girl's looking a little glowy, you see? <laughs> Honestly, I love this product. Like, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, 10 out of 10. I wore this yesterday. I wore this today. I've been out and about, I've worn a mask and it still looks pretty good. My skin doesn't look dry. Yes, it's definitely more on the dewy side. So I would definitely, definitely recommend regular blotting or just using powder if you have more oilier or combination skin types but with my dry skin i like this you know i like it um sometimes i was like oh it's a bit shiny so i put a little bit of powder so yeah just bear that in mind it is definitely more on the dewier glowy side i definitely agree with the statement that it's light as air it's i literally feel like i don't feel anything on my skin it's so so lightweight guys it just feels like skin it makes your skin look quenched plump no smile lines there's no weird patching the makeup applied beautifully on top of it um the product's still there on my nose slightly compared to other foundations or like skin tints or tinted moisturizers um and i wore a mask and what i liked about this is that there's not much transfer even though it's like a really dewy product like there's not much transfer on my hands and there wasn't much on my mask either and i went for a good like 45 minute walk out and i went into asda to wear my mask around and stuff so yeah honestly i don't have anything bad to say about it you get a good amount of product it's a it's at a reasonable price the shade range is really good if you were to ask me what I prefer out of all the foundations and the powder and this it would definitely be this and that's just according to my preference i also really like the packaging it looks pretty cool and yeah i'm really happy with this shade as well so honestly 10 out of 10 from you guys definitely recommend it and i feel like any skin type can use this just make sure to use maybe like a mattifying primer underneath um and a powder as well but for my dry skin i ain't complaining i ain't complaining it looks so pretty i love it so much guys so yeah i'm really really happy i hope you enjoyed this review and found it really helpful and uh, let me know what other products i should review and make sure to give this video a like so you can reach more people and subscribe to the channel so you can join the family thanks so much for the love and i will see you in my next video bye